How to start a publishing company. With the many technological advances that have come with computers and the Internet, it is easier than ever before to start and run your own publishing company. Knowing how to start a publishing company and the steps involved in taking a book from idea to publication is an important way to communicate ideas with the world, but before you begin thinking about what to publish, you'll need to know how to publish. Planning your business Determine what kind of publisher you will be. Publishing companies and entities tend to fall into one of five categories, and knowing which category your company will fall under can help you plan out your business. Trade publishers are publishing companies that deal with industry-specific publications. This category includes the major, well-established publishing houses that put out the majority of fiction in the marketplace. 1. Textbook publishers primarily deal with academic learning materials. Books published by textbook publishing companies will be primarily bought and used by students. 2. Scholarly, academic publishers tend to include university presses and not-for-profit publishers. Although this category is lumped in with academic publications, scholarly, academic publishers do not typically publish textbooks. 3. Reference publishers put out books and other learning materials that build on a body of information. The most common example of a reference publication is a dictionary or thesaurus, but can include many other nontraditional forms of information dissemination. 4. Self-publishers are authors who choose to take the reins on how their own work is published. 5. Choose a market. There are many existing book publishers, small and large, in operation around the world. The key to success as you think about starting your own publishing company is to decide upon a primary genre and corresponding market for your books. Knowing what market you intend to work in will help you when it comes time to draft a business model. Try to start out with a narrow focus. It's best to work within one or two primary genres or markets. If you try to start too big, it may be difficult to manage your company, and potential authors may lose interest if it seems as though the company lacks direction. Consider working in a market you know. If you have any kind of background in a given market, whether it's through formal education, work or intern experience, or even personal interest, you may find your business more successful in the market than if you tried to jump into unfamiliar waters. You will likely be more dedicated to and passionate about your business working in a market you're familiar with, and you will bring some level of knowledge or familiarity to the table. Understand your audience. This is where working in a familiar market can be exceptionally helpful, and may take some planning if you're working in an unfamiliar market. Think about trade publications. The publishers of those publications know what the intended audience will want to read and learn about, and the publishers also know where potential readers look for that information. Tapping into that kind of knowledge may drastically improve the chances of success, and could even give you some contacts as you launch your publishing company. A good question to ask yourself is, as someone who is interested in a given subject, would you want to read this? You can also expand on this question to consider what other things someone with a shared interest would want to read. Choose a name for your publishing company. It can be simple and concise or catchy and clever, but it should be a name you will feel comfortable using for the foreseeable future. If you have a marketing and or legal team, consult with those workers on a list of names you come up with. It should be easily marketable yet unique and memorable. Register your name. If you're using a name for your publishing company other than your own name, you'll need to be sure that that name is not already taken. One way to do this is by filing a fictitious business name statement, or a doing business as DBA name. Conduct an investigative inquiry within your county and state records to determine if the name you've chosen is in use. 8. Register your publishing company's name with the appropriate regional office. This may be your county clerk or state government office, depending on the location of your business. 9. Some regional governments may require you to take out a legal notice in an approved newspaper, usually for one month or less, to announce your business's name to the public and ensure that no one comes forward saying that they are already using that name. 10. Buy an ISBN number. ISBN stands for International Standard Book Number, usually included with the barcode on virtually every single book sold through a bookstore. The first single digit identifies the language of a given book. Zero is used for most publications in English. 14. After the language digit comes a multi-digit set of numbers called the publisher identification number. This group of digits is your publishing company's unique identification number. Note that small publishing companies tend to have long identification numbers, which means that, due to the limitation on how many digits an ISBN may be, smaller publishers will be able to publish fewer titles under a given ISBN than larger publishing houses. Once a small publishing company has published its allotted number of titles under a given ISBN, that company must then purchase additional ISBNs. 15. Immediately after the publisher's identification number comes the title identification number. This number or group of numbers identifies the book title by its edition or version. Different editions will require different ISBN title identification numbers. 16. The last digit in an ISBN is called a check number. It is calculated by a precise algorithm 17 and is used to check hence the name that the ISBN was coded correctly. 18. Draft marketing and business plans for your publishing company. 
There are a few business-related decisions you should make before you open up your publishing company, such as how many books you will publish each year, how you will budget your company's finances, and how you will advertise and market your publishing company. Adequate planning in this phase of starting up your company may be crucial in determining whether your venture into publishing is successful. Be realistic when planning your budget. Try to keep overhead costs to a minimum, and understand what kind of taxes you should expect to be paying, if you are taxed as a small business.